Is it okay to cheat? What about the 80-20 rule? Today we're going to dive into that and more on this week's episode of SC Lifestyle TV. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Jordan Reasoner, and welcome to this week's episode of SCD Lifestyle TV, where each week we give you one simple, actionable step that you can use towards a better digestion. So today we're talking about cheating. Okay, it's a pretty taboo topic. We get a lot of questions about, is it okay if I just cheat once in a while, or I have cravings and I couldn't overcome them, I gave in, I'm such a failure. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I get a lot of questions from people who have gotten healthy or have finally gotten control of their symptoms, they're saying, what about the 80-20 rule? And you hear a lot about that in the paleo community from athletes and things like that. So the question becomes, what is okay? Is cheating okay? Is it all right if you cheat every once in a while? Now, if you remember in Breaking the Vicious Cycle, when Elaine wrote the book, she said anybody had to follow SCD with strict adherence. And I think the main reason she wrote that, and I'm obviously just making an assumption here, is that once you kind of go down that slope, it's a very, very slippery one, okay? Now, I'll share something with you in terms of the science and the research behind this. So, it really depends on the type of person that you are. If you're somebody with autoimmune disease like me, so celiac disease, anything like that, there's a lot of evidence in the research that it can activate your immune system for up to six months if you cheat on something like gluten. So, I'm scared to death of eating gluten. I haven't knowingly ingested gluten in seven years. Like that's not okay for me. And the fallout from having my immune system flare up for six months just from one slice of pizza or something is not even close to being worth it for me. So when it comes to your decision about is cheating okay, it's really important to think about the context of it. Now, the research also suggests that there can be reactions of up to three to four days depending on the type of reaction you're having. So if you're somebody who reacts to the casein protein in dairy, for example, because you have really bad leaky gut and you eat some dairy, a piece of cheese or something, or drink some milk, three to four days isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> but if you're somebody like me with celiac disease and you have some gluten and you're looking at six months of fallout from your immune response, that is a big deal. So those are things that you really need to consider. All right, so we talked a little bit about some of the basic food reactions. So gluten, cheating with gluten or cheating with dairy. But what about some of the delicacies, right? What about some dark chocolate? What about some alcohol? You know, where does that fall into this whole cheating idea, right? Well, I want to share something with you that I learned from one of my success mentors. And an ET the Hip Hop Preacher, we've also shown some of his videos before and, and his work. And he said something so powerful once in one of his videos. He said, successful people don't ask what's wrong with something. They ask what's right about it. Okay, and I took that and I took it into my health. Okay, so healthy people don't ask what's wrong with something. They ask what's right about it. Okay, and the beautiful thing about that question is it's very different for you and me and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. Okay. That question is very specific to you. So when you're thinking about eating some chocolate or drinking some alcohol or, you know, going into the delicacies and, and seeing how that helps or hurts your health, don't ask what's wrong with it. Stop asking me. Stop emailing me and asking me what's wrong with chocolate, what's wrong with alcohol. Ask yourself what's right about it for you. Let me give an example. So when I was really sick years ago and I just started SCD, I stopped drinking alcohol, period. And I think, I can't even remember, I think it was two or three years I didn't have any alcohol while I was healing my gut. And there's all that research out there that shows that alcohol in, you know, more than moderate use can definitely cause small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. I think I saw one study that said that any alcohol causes an increase in small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So if you have a damaged gut, it's probably not a good idea to drink, right? So that's where I was at. Two to three years, I, I can't even remember, I didn't drink a drop of alcohol. And I didn't crave it at all either because I was just happy I wasn't having diarrhea, you know, 15 times a day anymore. So once I got healthy, I got to this place of like, why not? Why not try some alcohol? So I started drinking again occasionally. Never beer, um, not even gluten-free beer because there's grains in there, right? Um, I went into the realm of clear tequilas because I did all this research and I found that the sugar, the alcohol sugar in clear tequila, like 1800 silver was the most well tolerated, quickly absorbed in the stomach, blah, blah, blah. 
So I tried it and I started drinking a little bit. And as I got healthier and healthier and healthier, I started to drink wine and I, I tolerated it fine. I didn't really have any side effects or issues. Now, if I drank too much, certainly the next morning I didn't feel very good. But as a lot of you know, I shared a lot of information with you last year about going through my divorce and how sometimes I would, I would drink a bottle of wine and, and punch my pillow because I was so upset with that whole thing and, and just how that was happening and, and what was going on. And, and I realized that I had to stop and, and go back to my question, not what's wrong about drinking wine right now in my life, but what's right about it? What's right about it for me? And when I asked that question, I had no answer. So the next time I went to grab a bottle of wine at the store, I stopped and said, what's right about this? And I got nothing. I got nothing. So I'll share that with you in the sense that I stopped drinking for two or three years. Then I drank moderately for a year or two. Then I had a short period of time during the divorce where I drank probably too much for my taste. Okay. And, and now I've stopped. So I haven't drank alcohol in five months now. And it's, it's not something where I'm like, I'm not drinking for one year or I'm not drinking for six months and I have to use willpower. It's one of those things where literally, like Steve and I were just at a health conference in Florida and, and there was a wine tasting and all these people were having fun and dressed up in a black tie and stuff and everyone was drinking wine and it was all free, amazing wine. And I stopped in front of the table and I said, what's right about this? And I got no answer. And because of that, I didn't drink. So I went through this whole weekend and everybody else was drinking and I just didn't care. I didn't drink because I didn't need to. There wasn't anything right about it. So next time you think about grabbing a piece of pizza or grabbing some dark chocolate or grabbing some wine or whatever, ask what's right about it. And if you get an answer, then it most likely is okay for you. If you're healthy, 80-20 is okay with me um, to some degree. Right? If we're talking about chocolate or alcohol or stuff like that, 80-20 makes sense. If you're somebody with non-celiac gluten sensitivity or celiac disease, there's no such thing as 80-20 for gluten in my mind. Okay, So that's my opinion. That's where I stand on it. Uh, but some of those delectables, some of those nice things that are, are nice to have, make sense if you're healthy and you're sleeping and you're taking care of your body and all these things are right and you've done all the work, ask what's right about it for you rather than emailing me and asking me what's wrong with it, okay? So that's the one simple, actionable step I have for you today. Ask what's right about it before you think about cheating. This has been Jordan Reasoner with SC Lifestyle TV. We'll see you again real soon. Oh, share the love, Sh share the love, yeah, yeah, share the love. Jordan said I could have chocolate. I'm going to eat chocolate. See you guys later. Woohoo!